Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we are on to something insane. I quite frankly was not even sure if I was going to make this video, but the stuff that I actually found out about just simply lines up with the storyline within Stranger Things Season 3, and of course the Fortnite collaboration with Stranger Things. Now considering I am in fact a Fortnite channel, I thought it would be appropriate to make this video as well, as of course it revolves around the same topics. Now this might be a little strange to me because I'm not quite sure how to fully explain this, but I'm gonna try my absolute best and I really hope I can get you guys on the same like track as I am with inside my head because quite frankly it's like an explosion going on like 4th of July is inside my head right now of what just happened with Inside Stranger Things Season 3 and of course what's going on with the Fortnite X Stranger Things collaboration. Now before we go any further I have to showcase for you guys the end credit scene with Inside Season 3. This was in the final episode if you guys did not watch all the way through the end credits you would probably miss this scene. So. We're going to play it through really quickly, then afterwards we're going to break it down and discuss why it's so important to Fortnite in general. So to sit back and relax, and just so you guys know, spoiler warning. Alright, so what you guys just witnessed is the first appearance of a Demogorgon. Now, for whatever reason, throughout Season 3, we did not see any sort of Demogorgons. This was the very first time we've seen it, and it happens to be over in Russia, the hometown of, well, pretty much the evil people that were going to destroy Hawkins and pretty much the rest of the world. Now, we have some pretty important stuff to note. Like, for example, when they're actually picking out who to actually feed to the Demogorgon, they actually said, no, not the Americans. So there's a possibility that some American is actually alive. This could be Hopper, or it could mean Brenner. Now, those are the two fan theories that everyone has in the community so far. I've done pretty extensive research, and as of right now, it's either people are rooting for, of course, Hopper, which I personally am, and pretty much Brenner. And that's really about it as of right now. Now, would Stranger Things really kill off one of the main characters, and especially Eleven's dad? I honestly have no idea. I don't know what they have planned for season 4, but as any other season, we of course have gotten a post credit scene that gives us a little example, or of course a teaser, as far as what to expect in the next upcoming season. And I definitely think it's going to be just like season 1 with Eleven. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I believe it was season 1 or season 2, Eleven went missing for a long period of time. And of course, Hopper had to go find them, and I think it's going to be vice versa with Inside Season 4. I think Eleven is going to be looking for Hopper over in Russia, for whatever reason, I know it sounds absolutely far-fetched, but it could be, of course, once again another coincidence and another storyline ending that we could be actually be expecting. Now, let's discuss why this has a relationship with, of course, Fortnite x Stranger Things. If you guys don't know or don't play Fortnite if you're new around here, essentially, Fortnite collab with Stranger Things to bring us, well, this in the background video.
And not only that, we also got two brand new skins. And these skins are once again a coincidence with the Season 3 storyline ending credit scene. So the two skins that Epic Games happened to pick out was of course a Demogorgon and of course Hopper. Now this could be a tribute to both of these, but it also could be a hint towards what's going to be coming, and Straight Things X Fortnite could actually mean another hint towards Season 4 in general. So does this mean that Hopper is still alive, and does this mean we should be seeing him or expecting him within Season 4 of Stranger Things? Honestly, I'll leave that to you guys in the comment section down below, but quite frankly, it is definitely a major coincidence. I mean, of all the skins that Epic Games could have picked, any character with inside Stranger Things Season 3, they managed to pick a Demogorgon which legit did not even play throughout the entire season, only in the end post credit scene, and a lot of people actually missed out on this. I mean, it could have been Billy, it could have been somebody else, it just absolutely could have been anybody with inside the cast, but lo and behold, they pick a character that had a massive storyline ending death, and then they pick a Demogorgon, which is actually from previous seasons, but not season 3. Something is definitely fishy, and I'll leave it to you guys in the comment section down below because I know a lot of you guys are detectives, and you will definitely figure this out for season 4. Now, as far as today's video goes, that's all I have for you guys. As of right now, that's just my personal fan theory, as I'm a massive fan of Stranger Things, and of course, Fortnite, and it looks like these are actually correlated at some point. So, let me know your opinions. I hope to see you guys in the next upcoming video. If you're new around here, feel free to drop a like, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay happy, and enjoy the rest of your day.